Today we will consider, how to reset forgotten password in Windows 11, Windows 10, and Windows 8. This is actually a big problem when you cannot open your computer. You are trying to remember your password, but it doesn't work. You can reset your password and come up with a new one, but you haven't created a dedicated password reset flash drive. Don't worry, look carefully, repeat exactly after me, step by step, and we will succeed. So, first we need to open the command line, for this, on the keyboard, press and hold the shift key, and then press, here, and restart the computer. The automatic system recovery program has opened. Click. Troubleshoot. Then, advanced options. Now press, command prompt. This was the first way to open a command prompt. Depending on the configuration of the operating system, the program may ask for your password before opening the command line. In this case, I suggest opening the command line in a different way. For those with command prompt open, you can skip the second and third methods and go straight to making changes to the registry editor. How to open the command prompt. Method number two. If your system asks for a password to open command prompt, you need to connect a Windows 7, 8, Windows 10, or 11 installation USB drive or DVD disk windows to your computer. Usually, using such a USB flash drive, Windows is installed on a computer. Whether your version is Windows Home or Pro, any version of Windows will work. Connect this USB drive or DVD disk to your computer and restart your computer. Immediately after starting the reboot, continuously press the key to bring up the boot menu. I press F9, for you it could be, F8, F9, F11, F12, or some other key. You can find out how to call the download menu in the video on my channel, the link is in the description for this video. Find a bootable USB or DVD in the boot menu. Press, Enter. If you have connected a USB flash drive Windows 11, 10 or Windows 8, wait for the Windows installation menu to open. But we will not install anything, click, Next. Here we click, Repair your computer. The automatic system recovery program has opened. Click, Troubleshoot. Now press, Command Prompt. This is how the command prompt opens using the installation USB flash drive Windows 11, Windows 10, and Windows 8. If you have Windows 7 USB, see the third way to open the command prompt. We connect the USB flash drive Windows 7, restart the computer, call the boot menu, find the USB flash drive and press, enter. The Windows 7 installation menu has opened, now we press the keys, Shift, and F10 on the keyboard, at the same time. This was the third way to open the command prompt. You learn three ways to open a command prompt. Now in the command prompt write, re-get it, and press, enter. The registry editor has opened. Here you need to press once, key local machine. Click, file and click, load hive. Here we need to find the drive where the Windows operating system is installed. Above this is the local drive C, or rather its small directory for system files. Disk D is the largest here. And we open it. Yes, there is a Windows folder here, and we open it. Next, find and open the folder, system32. Find and open the folder, config. Here find the file, system, and double click on it. In this window, you need to specify a name for the created folder. You can choose any name, I will name this folder, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Click OK. Let's open the key local machine folder. And so, we created a folder, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, now open it. Find the folder, setup, and click on it. Now find the file on the right, cmd line, and double click on it. In the window that opens, write, cmd.exe.
and click OK. Now double click, set up to pay. And instead of zero, enter a number, one. Click, OK. Then find the folder, one, two, three, four, five, and click on it once. Then click, file, and click, unload hive. Click, yes, and close this folder. Close command prompt, and click, continue booting windows. If you use the third method, close the installation menu, click, yes, the computer will automatically restart. The operating system has started loading. The command prompt was opened. Here we will write, net, click, spacebar, user, click, enter. Now we see our account name, my name, at Malik. Now we write, net, press spacebar, user, Click the spacebar, your account name, I write, Ip Malik. Press spacebar, put a sign, an asterisk, for this press on the keyboard, shift and number 8, at the same time, and click, enter. Next. We do not write the password, we have deleted the password, and instead of the password, we have an empty space. Click, enter. Then you need to press again, enter. As a result, the command was successfully completed, now we do not have a password and a command prompt can be closed. If your name is made up of several separate words, this could be a problem. In this case, try this, try putting your name between the two hooks, for example, John Smith, then this line write, net, press spacebar, user, press spacebar, John Smith, press spacebar, put an asterisk. Try to enter your name without the spacebar in one word, for example, John Smith. Try these different options. We close the command prompt, and to do this, write, exit. We click, enter, and we started to reboot the computer. Now we do not enter a password. And we entered our system without any problems. If you have forgotten your password and it is very important for you to unlock your computer, repeat all these steps and you can also reset your password. And so, so we removed the password and now our PC is left unprotected and any unauthorized person can use our personal data. Now I will set a new password on my computer, and if you need to do that too, follow me step by step and you will protect your computer or laptop if you set a new password. You can learn how to set a new password for Windows 10 from my other video, the link is in the description of the video. Press the button, Start, then, Settings. In this window, press, Accounts, Sign in options, Click, Password, and here click, add. A window has opened, and here you need to enter a new password. Confirm new password, and, hint password. Next. Now my computer is under protection, and I hope that what I just said could help you, and if you found it useful, please share my video with anyone. Write me a comment, I will answer all your questions and try to help you. Thank you very much for your attention to my video. Good luck.